Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be starting with a funny story from Akbar and Birbal. Uh, this is uh, the story of the 10 greatest fools. Emperor Akbar enjoyed testing Birbal's intelligence. He would often ask him tricky questions and have the strangest demands. One day, Emperor Akbar summoned Birbal and said, Birbal, only wise and learned men come to meet Emperor. For a change, I like to meet a fool. Bring me the ten greatest fools in the city. I give you a month's time. As you wish, Jambana. But it wouldn't take that long, said Birbal in a mild tone. He then set out to search for the ten greatest fools in the city. On the way, he came upon an unusual sight. A man was carrying a bundle of sticks on his head while riding a horse. Intrigued, Birbal asked him, Why carry the bundle on your head instead of placing it behind you on the saddle? To which the man replied, Huzur, I really value this horse. After years of serving me, it has become quite old and weak. This bundle of wood might be too heavy for him to handle. So, to relieve him a bit, I am carrying it for him. Upon hearing the absurd reasoning, Birbal thought of himself. Aha! That's my first fool! He then turned to the man and said to him, Come with me and you will never have to carry another bundle in your life. And so, having found his first fool, Birbal continued looking for more. Just then, he noticed a man laying flat on his back with his arms in the air. Thinking that the man was sick, Birbal immediately jumped from his horse and rushed towards him. As Birbal tried to lift him, the man exclaimed, Please don't touch me. Why? Does it hurt? You look like you need a medical attention, said Birbal in a concerned tone. I'm fine. It's just my wife has asked me to buy a big pot this big, replied the man. If I move my hands, then I won't be able to get the right measurement. I'm very scared of my wife. And if I get the wrong pot, she will scold me for the rest of that happen. My life. I can't let, and just like that, Birbal had found his second fool. Birbal told the man that he would buy him pots of all shapes and sizes as long as he followed him. Birbal picked him up and they were on their way when suddenly, third, an old man had crashed into Birbal. Birbal immediately turned back and shouted, What is wrong with you? Are you blind? The humble old man kneeled down and began apologizing. He said to him, A thousand apologies, Huzur. Actually, I wanted to know how far my voice could go. So I let out a huge scream and started running after it. But alas, due to this accident, I will have to start from a scratch now. Birbal couldn't believe it. His third fool had literally fallen into his arms. He told the man that he would give him two mohurs if he followed him and led all the three fools to the palace where he lived. Birbal as a three meant to reside at his palace for the time being. He didn't have to go set a fools too far to find his next. A little distance from his palace, he found two men quarreling. They were hurling punches to each other. Paw, dishum, smack, Birbal immediately intervened. Why are you both fighting? asked Birbal. 
Huzur, he threatened to set his tiger on my buffalo, exclaimed the first man. Birbal was a bit confused. He didn't see any animals around, he asked the men. But I don't see any tiger or a buffalo. Oh, you will, Huzur, said the second man. If God appears before us and grants us a wish, you will. The first man grew red with anger, screamed. Did you hear that, Huzur? If I ask the god for a buffalo, he insists on asking the god for a tiger to eat up my wish. Only a fool would take these fools seriously. Birbal immediately turned and saw the man approaching him with a jar of oil. The man then said, If I am wrong, then I let my bones break to bits and blood run like this oil and crash. He smashed the jar on the ground. Immediately, the man regretted his decision. Ah, what a fool am I! To waste such a good jar and such pure oil, Birmal smiled. Isn't it? Every day that fool would call himself one. Without further ado, he took all the three men back to his palace and left them with the other three fools. Now, Birbal had six fools in total. After a tiring day of searching for fools, Birbal decided to take a walk at night. The moon was shining bright and lit up the entire city. Just then, Birbal came across the man who was looking for something on the ground. What are you looking for? Birbal asked the man. I'm looking for my ring, Huzur. Did you drop it here? No, I dropped it over there, under that tree. Then, why are you searching for it on the open ground? Because, Huzur, it's brighter over here. So, this is the best place to look for it. And that's seven, Birbal thought to himself and promised the man that he would buy him a new ring if he followed him. The man agreed without any hesitation. On their way to the palace, Birbal noticed an old man searching for something near a sand pile. Birbal immediately rushed to his aid. What seems to be the problem, good man? asked Birbal. Ah, Huzur, perhaps you could help me, said the old man. I hid my ring in a hole in the sand pile, but now I can't seem to find it. I'm doomed. Why didn't you mark the spot? asked Birbal. I naturally did, Huzur, said the old man. There was a cloud right above the spot where I hid the ring. But alas, that cloud betrayed me and has now vanished with it. So has my ring. Birbal was on roll. He had found the eighth fool just like that. He took both the men with him to his, the palace. Soon, he was ready to present all the fools to the emperor. The next day, Birbal entered the Akbar's court with all fools. Emperor Akbar was surprised to see him back already. I didn't expect you would return so soon, Birbal, said Emperor Akbar. Well, Jambana, everyone knows it's easier to find fools than wise men. Birbal proceeded to recount his encounters with each and every man to the emperor. However, Akbar was not pleased. Birbal, I asked you to bring me ten fools. That's right. These are only eight fools. Where are the remaining two fools? They're right here, Jambana. Where? Pardon me, but that would be the two of us, my king. What? The entire court fell silent, for no one could ever talk with such a disrespect to the emperor. How are you and I fools, Birbal? Explain yourself this instant, or be ready to face the consequences, said Akbar in a sheer anger. Well, you see, Jambana, out of all 
all of these men, we have been the biggest fools. You for sending me on such an errand, and I for obeying you. Ha 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 ha! The entire court along with the Emperor Akbar burst out into laughter. Birbal had once again dazzled the entire court with his sheer wit and humor. Thank you. If you want more such funny stories and videos like these, please like and subscribe our channel. Bye guys.